Wait, is there two different, three different spots yep. here? I don't even know. I think it's two on here. But a third one might join it. I know it's a spot there. But, uh, let's see. I think that song is getting there. That song is just going to be That's right. I've this compound here. But the Kamikaze from Norway are raining justice from above. However, it is not working out for them. That M16 and Skr comes in uh, beautifully against James, and he's going to be uh, knocked out and killed. So still, Team Norway going to try their best at this one. Simsy has a decent angle to work with here, and he's got a current 98 as well. But he's going to be spotted in. It doesn't oh. really matter, though. Miguel steps down from the fight from a beautiful knockout from Simsy. And this is the moment for Team Norway to actually try and make their way in. Yeah, of course, it's very hard sometimes breaching a building. Uh, at the same time, Simsy has to be careful because he needs to get to that building and he could be an easy target. But they have the upper ground. You can see them looking through the windows as well downstairs. Oh, oh, oh and he gets, he gets knocked out. It's a great little shot there by uh, Chronix coming out to knock out Simsy. Absolutely. And it looks like the rest of his team might try and push here in a 4v2. Maybe take the fight, but they get knocked down on to Calibero. He gets killed. There's one of the steps. Oh, I feel it. And he gets robbed it. But someone comes in from behind. It's going to be Crims that actually, a Crims Zord that will finish off the fight. Team Portugal is still standing here. Uh, it does look like Team Norway are out of this round. First matchup dying early right there. Team USA still having a full uh, team. They kind of have to be uh, careful. They've got the team just south of them at the yellows. And another team as well, Team Denmark here, approaching one of their enemies. It looks like two enemies in front of the back there. It's going to be Lars that takes up kind of the same amount of damage. Energetic and Avenger pushed in as well. Avenger throws in a good nade that might connect. Well, Colton tries to spray down. Is not that nade didn't either so Troy is gonna step in try and help out his teammate here needs come back and forth flying through like it's a tennis freaking match but none of them end in the knockout here the turtle must be careful oh that knee just in front of him it does not actually connect uh, this is a very very hard battle that team Denmark have found themselves in a Venker oh 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 too far no. so close I feel the mug hurt here, but oh, Larson looks like he wants to push. He just feels like he's trying to go. He starts to peek his stick. And that's a nice move, but at the same time, Avenka gets uh, knocked down. Is this a two on four? So they are in a tough spot. Uh, and here comes a revive on to Chori. Yeah, indeed. So actually, yeah. they might put a push. He might get pushed. He is going to get pushed, it looks like. Come around the corner, Larson. Not going to get pushed. Oh, Longo. Oh. That's actually Flank. That's a very intelligent side flank coming from Longo, but he's got one HP left. And Balog does the same. It's a one v one battle right now at this moment in time. So Balog actually got to be going fast for the heal of, of Venker. That's a smart choice right now because Longo's got to be going in for the heal and then going to be coming in inside. But Balog and Venker might just have the upper hand considering that they might be able to heal in good time. Energetic Turtle left on the top spot there might be killed, but this is very important information that he's oh. actually gathering here. Longo actually goes decides to go in for the heal. I don't think that's a smart choice at this moment in time because a Venker is going to be coming in with that. Nate, let's see if it does connect. When it flies in, it flies in. Oh, oh there she goes indeed. Cole Menta will be knocked out. Longo there with a sliver of hope, sliver of life left into him. All the while, Team Denmark are resing up every single member and they're healing up as well. So yeah. they're gonna have an easy time taking Longo down. Yeah, oh, goes not by himself. It looks like his team is just a little bit further back, but he is relocated. Circle is moving now. Uh, the Czech team is forced to run out into the open. Two of them getting knocked. One of them's in the circle, healing on the roof. So that's going to be a tough spot for him, and everyone's just running through the city as people start to hide and pick away at others. Here's a kill coming onto YNCK. Nicely done there as he takes out Opoko. Yeah, that happens to be so indeed. And look at this one. It's going to be Spike that absolutely bodies them. And that's another squad absolutely finished here. But it's a 2v2. It's a fair battle between Czech Republic and France at this moment in time. And I really don't know who's going to be coming out on top. It's anybody's game. Yeah, pretty much. They're outside the building here. Uh, there is a little bit of health missing from Damien. So he's healing up right now. Because how many heals they have is a big uh, big thing here. Helmets, vests as well. Because they've, they've taken a lot of damage so far. That's a beautiful fight as well. That's, a, that's an incredibly beautiful fight to watch here through the well the blind windows of the red shop here shots coming in back and forth most of them actually don't connect it's very very difficult to connect from this point out but aqua actually has a good angle there it's going to be keep, keeping shadow from peeking in towards the right side and now aqua's going to be moving in a bit aggressive there trying to hold on to the right angle there but shadow already has that one covert aqua hasn't reloaded his ak but shouldn't need more than 22 there he goes 
He's going to have 30 bullets right now in that AK, which is an absolute blaster. Close range circle will be strangling quite soon. We just have a few more seconds before it draws in closer. But oh, that Great beautiful nade from Spike will be knocking out Shadow. And this is the call. This is the time for Team Czech Republic to try and make a force into it. Damien eating up a bit of damage there. Spots one of his enemies actually go into the red shop. Akko peeking in the left side. Not going to be connecting any shots right now. Shadow won't get a chance to be rest. And though both of them are going to be trying to begin against Czech Republic. And no putain. It will be Czechia that takes up the GG and the chicken dinner. You will get a rest, but Team Lithuania will have that much less time to try and move into the next circle there. Ooh, in the meantime, though, we see some people coming in from Team Italy up against Team UK. Who's going to come out on top here? It looks like Paris is taking shot, but he's not connecting that many. Instead, he's going to be himself knocked out. Italy not giving up on the fight, though. They've got plenty more to put forward. Wash out here, holding off the angle there, taking those shots, but not connecting his either. Team UK have a decent chance to retaliate, even with nades. They are in nade range one against the other, and they might just be able to throw those uh, pocket red zones, if anything. It looks like they're starting to move, though. Like, oh no, never mind. Maybe just reposition, grabbing a vehicle. Skoom is in a good spot to, to get them as they run out of this ditch, though. And that could be a really big move here, as they're, they're kind of stuck in the low ground, right? So, mm -hmm. oh man. But he's not going for the commit. No, he's going to run away, get into the vehicle. They're not in the circle still, so they still have to be very, very careful about taking this fight. Look at Washout. Look at Washout putting in a side flank there. It's going to be Scoon knocked out and killed as well. Break follows suit. It's just going to be Sigzy left alive from Team UK. He has to play this one quite carefully. So, and well, he already knows he's that the Italy them. are coming in from all different angles. But, oh, Prolosco gets knocked out from somewhere else on the map there. Balak finds the Frank. Still Sigzy falls. Italy still staying into the game. And now they have a UAZ to work with here to try and get into the next It feels circle. like this last circle or the next circle is going to be, like, relatively in the open. So it's uh, whoever runs for first kind of dies, right? So mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's one of those things that everyone's going to burst for it, see each other, and just go for a gunfight. So we might get some crazy action. True, and I, I kind of like the position of Team Belgium. Ooh, nice shots from Texas. Talk yeah. about position. They really know how to put on the screws against their enemies. That's brutal. They just swam yeah, across all the way across the water, and now they can't do that again online. Oh, that's a good knockout there from Hack City. And he will be, uh, well, trying more, and his full squad will be trying more at that as well. Mini meant in a very dangerous car, but the vehicle does explode indeed. That's going to be... A heck ton of kills that Hex City puts forward for his team as Miniman tries to drive forward to very, very unfavorable terrain. He's gonna have to go all the way south, or sorry, north of that hill. There's no chance to drive straight through it. And well, by doing so, he's actually gonna be straight into the sights of Team Czech. And he's fine. And he's perfectly fine. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him drive. Yeah, that's Czech Republic on currently on rank three, and they're trying their best to get some better placements as well. But now they're being really, really uh, in, well put in a difficult position. Uh, not an easy task for Germany as well to try and take them down. They do kind of have the potential of a side flank here, but Mazzarini tries to make his way in, and he does do that indeed. Uh, grouping up with his team, but Outsider already has the side flank. That nade might be powerful enough. Let's see if it does connect with his enemies there. It doesn't look like it so far. Nope, but instead that push will work perfectly there. One knockout, second Two. one, the third one as well. And there's just one member left and Team Czech Republic will be eliminated. So it's Portugal versus Austria right now. It's just going to be mini -ment. In a 1v1 situation, he knocked out one of his enemies. Miguel might just be going in for the raise. He might be going in for it. Indeed, the revive might occur as mini -ment does not dare to peek out. He is currently in the circle, so he thinks that he wouldn't have any reason to push forward. But there is, because right now, it just got double harder for him to win this one out. And they know of his position, so you can already see a side flank is happening from Miguel. Might just be a good, good one at that. Let's see, Miguel might be spotting his enemy there. I think he did. Yeah, I this think is going to be close. Him. He has to be careful as well, because the circle... You don't want to like take one or two shots and then die to the circle, but it looks like they are pushing up closer. They're oh. at the edge, and they're going for the spray down. He does get knocked. Oh. And he's still kind come of out on top. He does. he does. Oh my god, it's gonna be Team Austria that come through with the GG and the chicken dinner. Ooh. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, MBS. Oh. Switching to him. He's knocked out Fuzz face, and you can see AZ wow. going on to a few shots and nicely done onto Hollywood. So there's two of them now. Uh for the Swedish team going down, but yeah. you know, they're only knocked. And you can see more men is in one of those buildings, providing a bit of high ground cover. Gaxi's going around the side. So you might get Hollywood.
He's the last one staying alive here. Team Lithuania are, are going to be coming out on top in this duel here. Fuzzface and I would hoping that their teammate Moban makes his way close enough, fast enough there. Gaps is, is, is tagged down low, so he's not going to be pushing forward there. It's going to be Dizzy instead that actually chooses to go a bit more aggressive, holding on to an angle there. I don't know if Moman has a chance to res this team, but if he does, then they might just have to consider getting out of that one completely. Because right now, Lithuania are close on their heels, and it doesn't look like they're the only ones that came to the party. It looks no. like uh, USA are also in there. Yeah, well, there's two of them. Okay, and then the other two are further south by uh, past the hospital and whatnot. Okay, so I don't think they'll take that fight because there's no backup if they do. But we can see Dizzy, Fuzz Face right by here. Dizzy's going for it. Oh, he's going to get the kill. Yeah, he will. And uh, Moment, well, he's just going to have to play for placements, but can he? NBS has got a tag on him. And he's now one third of HP left. He tries to beacon on the other side, hoping that nobody comes from that angle there. And he actually, wherever he goes, he's not going to have an easy yeah. time escaping. Look at MBS coming in aggressive from behind. This is not an easy time as Moment tries to go out, but oh. he does go out. 41 HP on him, and MBS does the dirty deed. I guess that is it. Team Sweden out of the game. But if they know he's out, they knew people were relatively close. They should check it. But you can see Larson's on the other side. So, okay, it looks like they're, they're just checking all corners before they push him. And I like the position of Hetroy. He's got an AK, which is a deadly weapon. He can't hit for the head, but as soon as he gets spotted, they might actually oh. throw a nade in there. Closing the door, yep, a nade will draw in indeed. I'm not too sure if you have a second chance of life. As he tries to escape the room in there, he's going to knock out one butt. That nade indeed does the damage. And Avenger is going to be finding that kill. we got 15 seconds till the next circle, and it looks like it's out in the open. So they don't want to run to it yet. It's sometimes one of those things. Whoever runs first oh. dies first. But they are going to run into each other. They see each other. Grubsy gets the kill into Miguel. He's going to be very happy with that. And Crimes Lords on the other side of the ridge. Circle is moving in. Reezy just like in a nice little ditch. But oh, he is going to get picked off there by Minimant. They have so many kills. And now it's essentially it's a 3v1. Oh, nope, it's no longer that nope. one. Grubsy's going to be coming in with the final kill. And that's a beautiful one. No, at that. Team Portugal, mm -hmm. rather, uh, will be moving in uh, or into this kind of fight. I'm not too sure if this is the right way to do it. They're, they're trying to save Chronix in there. Uh, Miguel is well stuck in the same compound there. But uh, Hack said he's got an angle on them. He's going to be throwing out an eight. He knows exactly what house they're in. Surgery helping him out from the compound just south of him. So Chronix and Miguel are going to have to wait for the support of Caballero, who is now stepping up to the plate. Chronix has a decent spot to try and tag down the two players that come in here. But he fires off his shot prematurely. And in that one, he actually gets a knockout, but he's getting knocked out himself. Oh, and look at this one. Hack said he survives with one HP. He's going to be killing Chronix. Now he's going to be having to heal. Miguel knows this, so he's going to be opening up that door. Hack said he tries to close it back in. He says, no, sir, this is a toilet. I shall not have you in. Film me. Oh. Uh, but he does. Miguel gets out from this battle, but it's not over yet. Team Sweden still have members on the map. Yeah, and the fact that they've got two members of the same team definitely helps them as well. A nice shot. You can see Jeems and Simsy both very good breachers for Penta. So having both of those players with really good AR skills, great mechanics on quick trigger pulls are going to be moving in here. So it's got to be scary for Spain as you see the breach coming up. Norway pressing the stairs, looking around. Simsy with the shotgun out, rocking the double barrel for the blowdown. He's going to take the first peek, knows that they're in there somewhere. Smoke working in his favor as he now can breach the room. Yeah, got the back, no Winghaven doesn't know. He finally hears the grenade, so he assumes something is up. Here comes the breach by Simsy. He's going to lead out with the double barrel. Hits the room. Misses the shot, though. He goes down to the scar. Jeems already at a quarter health. Has to walk out the back to try and heal himself up. Joy did go down on the stairwell, so Jeems won the one shootout. Simsy missed the double barrel and goes down. Now we see Fraser trying to get in here to help out. Wants to get up the stairs. They're trying to keep Simsy alive, if at all possible. Jeems, no time to heal. Here comes the breach with the full health. Comes no. in, gets knocked immediately. What a play by Spain as he is at still wing at full health has knocked two as they just crawl around like a nursery in the middle of a firefight. When Jeeves made his life just that much harder because he had to open the door from the inside, which means that he can peek even less. Winghaven now has the chance to potentially close this one 1v3 situation beautifully. So he's got to be uh, actually finding the two kills in there. Those two knockouts turn into kills on Jeeves. Well, he's not going to be left with much. Netherlands have an easy time to move out because right now there's another squad actually pushing into Estonia. And that is, of course, the boys from the U.S. What do you Let's think go. is going to happen here? They'll probably die. All right, so the guys from the U.S. are going to try to push <laughs> into a compound that is hard to defend. They've got oh, the walls. Man. They've got guys uphill. They've got shooters everywhere. So their best play right here, leave one peak and lock into inside the bunker at maximum. They've got Fly Q Hetrar. He's a great player. He's got a good peeker with the Groza. So he'll play that defensive role as he tries to get some snipes uphill. But there's the nade. Awful close. 
They gotta be very careful. There's the push to his left side. Oh, and Hetro, an absolute animal when it comes to rival, has been defeated. Oh, it's fantastic. Steps in. Two great frags for him, and Caden is gonna be falling down as well. No chance for these boys. I mean, look at this spot, though. They've got. They know that they have cover. They know there's no one coming up from the river. They're in full defilade, so they can just wait it out and get some peaks and hold the circle. So that should be great for them because this triple house is going to be a massacre before anybody moves out of it. So they can just sort of wait for that to see itself ended. Um, and, I, and I don't know how any of these teams who are sort of locked in at triple can safely move. Whoever moves first will be the one to die. Whoever moves last will get stuck in the blue. And here's Washout fulfilling an important role of trying to gatekeep everybody from actually coming into the next circle there. And it's a double kill for him. I see. Well, it's a double knockout there, but a beautiful, beautiful effort indeed. One last member stayed alive there. He's not going to be alive for too long. They're washout doing perfectly for his team here, setting them up for the victory. You guys call it a motor pulls. We usually actually keep the motors out of our pulls uh, in Europe, so <laughs> that's why our pulls are cleaner and not closed in. But we do see Bruder that he's going for his first vehicle. He's not going to be getting this frag, and he's not going to be sticking too long because three T butts found himself a nice handy place behind that tree and Kane is going to be picking him up and there you go now they're friends now they're going to have a bit of a race there see who gets first to George Bull and why wouldn't they go there it's a fantastic place to loot not a, not a lot of teams actually made their way so far it just looks like Mista from Team Netherlands is going to be quite close to Ibiza as well from the same team and they're just kind of circling around their ROM cell around as well I'm not too sure whether they're going to be choosing to stay or leave but it looks like Mista might just have some initial fights or no might just take some shots at Outsider there half life on him and yep he's putting in God's work there he's really connecting but he cannot find the closer oh all of the yeah. HP Look how low they are. So what they were trying to do was knock them off of the three-seater because it's so unstable. It actually worked. Everyone's off of this bike. They're down to quarter health, each of them, still looking to get run over and shot. They got the run over. This is ridiculous. Oh, unfortunate time here. Mista doesn't really fire and misses, and we can actually see it here. Roms is going to be getting out of his buggy and will be swapping for the shoddy. Kaint, I don't think he's going to be alive for too long oh, there. Oh, no. easy frags for Team Netherlands there as they really put on their screws against their enemies. And they're going to be this crossing that Austria. one quite easily, it seems, so far. Energetic Turtle is going to be holding on to an angle. Um, but oh, they're actually walking straight into his crosshairs. Yeah, Energetic are. Turtle will have the upper hand in this situation here. It does seem like at least the element of surprise. Nope, they're just picking Bookie up that dodge. on the bridge. This is bad, Larson. In. Go ahead, yep. Yeah. They're going to turn and fire at him as they go by, and G-Thang immediately knocked out. Half of Austria knocked. The second car tries to stop and get a little bit of a play here. That's three down. Grub C goes as well. Wookie very low. Miniman taking fire from Energetic Turtle on the hill. Miniman the last man standing. Down he goes. Finished off by the Turtle. These guys set one hell of a trap. Yeah, playing, of course, as we all know it, and we all know have uh, grown to love Team Finland. Torille Tavatan for the boys. Can you say that, uh, Tafis? Torille Tavatan. Torille Tavatan. Very good. I don't know what that means. I hope it wasn't cussing, and if it was, that's no, fine. No, 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 no. We'll be anyway, that said, Sweden uphill with some good shots down here on Jemty. Jemty stuck in a tough position. Oh, no. Well, really good. The backpack shot. There it is. Jemty knocked at the back. He goes around the side. Didn't realize where he was getting shot from. He goes down. Mixy sees him go. Has a little bit of frustration and tries to get to a tree. He goes down as well. Hacks it. Just taking him apart, hacking him to pieces. As he's the only guy left alive for that one. We'll see how that one pans out. In the meantime, though, Fuzz face. well, he's going to have to greet some new neighbors because they're making their way down the hill. Ooh, AC almost gets him with that headshot. Fuzz has to go into the shack, but he's okay with that as he sits right there outside of the car. In the blue, AC gets picked off. Nice knock there to get him down from hacks. That control position that Sweden finds themselves in. They're ranked 19, but after this game, they may be a lot higher because they are playing out of their minds right now. Absolutely, Fuzzy still putting in the shots, and they, he makes them count as well there. Knocking out James, and that makes his team have an easier task at that one. He's the team that pushes in late. The Brit boys have joined the party, and they're trying to rejoin the European ranks, but it doesn't really work for them. They're getting knocked out left and right there. Nicola with one HP actually manages to take Reels down, and that's just going to be T-Bone, I believe. Yeah, it's just T-Bone that, that is left for, for Team UK, and they're going to be uh, really, really pushed in hard right now by the full squad of Sweden. Yeah, Sweden's just in such a good spread position. They're covering the entire entrance point to that area. They knock out UK. They saw the ghillie suit. They eliminate immediately from the potential match. We're down to seven players all of a sudden. Oh. Miguel, look at this. Trying to play the spoiler. Sees hacks. Oh, Buzz coming up on the away. other side, though. 
He's got no idea, Miguel, that uh, Fosius is so close. He might just say, I can rally you right now because oh, Hansen no. will be putting his shirt bular straight in his face. So that's another team wiped out. It's going to be Portugal out of the game here. Still a very, very good chance for Team Sweden as they do move forward here. And this is a powerful place to watch out, uh, to, mm -hmm. to play in from because, uh, again, it's a place that will not allow you to be to get surprised from anywhere. Denmark yeah. also finding a good spot. This yellow will oh, see them no! save, but what? Texas flying in with the dodger here. One frank with the car. Oh, the next no! one doesn't occur here. What is going on? An absolutely close to F as Team Belgium seem to mount on top. And this bit of a duel. What was that going on? I don't even so... know what to make of it. But I'm not too sure for how long here. Oko stepping in. And he's stepping in straight into what seems Den to be Denmark. Yeah. And, oh no, it's, it's uh, Norway. And they are finding the first that Micro Uzi, really, really powerful close range by Fraser is going to be no. going down as well. Oko putting on the screws. The Czech Republic coming in really, really strong. Two seconds left, and the circle will be strangling again. It's going to be Italy versus uh, Iceland. And it does look like Iceland have the upper hand, at least in, in, in manpower here. And they're already making their push into it. There's one rock that they can use to, you know, as cover. But the first knockout comes in. It's going to be washed out. That is knocked outside of the play zone. Oh. And that's going to be the GG in oh, Look at this one. Team Netherlands. Very, very close to Finland. Looks like they want to come up here. Jemti moving around. He knows where they are. He's trying to find himself a flanking position downhill. Got to be careful. Keeping that lean in to keep his head down below the defilade. Mister, though, a great sprayer if he can get the advantage. Here comes Jemti up over the hill looking for one. He sees Roms. He wants to decide if he should take the shot. He doesn't know where the rest of the team is. Switches to the snipe. Goes for the head. Opens up. Easy knockdown to start. Jemti in a good position, but there's Broder down the hill. Sees him. Tries to find a good position to shoot up. Jemti falls back and waits for his team to advance. Throws out a nice little nade here. If he can hit, it'll let him take over this rock and advance the rest of his crew. And there's now the Jemti pushing. Jemti pushing nice. forward. He actually has a chance to get Bruder down, and that he does indeed. Mr. TV won't get the res, even though Bruder's behind the dash. And Mr. decides to back out of this one. His teammate's being knocked out again. It's going to be Mr. Shot poor, poor back. guy. Is he still down inside of the pits? A lot of teams still down there actually trying to figure out how to get out of this one. Razi and VZ up against Chris. Chris had to go out in a different exit, remember? And now they're up against Hugostar. There's the spray. Cloudtail taking some damage. Goes for the peak. Gets one. Chris lining up the shot with that grenade. Yep. The the corner. Easy. Oh, damn. Now that's one for the books. That nade is going to be coming in here. And it looks like Team Estonia are not going to have an easy time at that. But at the same time, it looks like Iceland are, are, are having to really lick their wounds at this moment in time here. So they actually choose to back off. And that's a smart play to do. Yep. It will allow them to get the res and a bit of a heal as well. Their enemies are not going to be pushing into them. They don't want to find certain death. So for the moment, both of these teams are okay, but they will have to face each other off. Well, the circle still continues to favor the shelter. I've never seen anything like this. It's very interesting. Almost every entrance has a car parked in it and blocking in some capacity. So it's going to be interesting to see the top teams going to the bottom. The bottom teams trying to come out to the top based on the next circle as it plays out. We've got, what, th two or three teams in the shelter itself. That's, that's, that's pretty a, cool, actually. That is a beautiful shot. <laughs> and as we move forward, we do see the French guys have a bit of a chance here. But UK, in Ooh. return, they're going to be gatekeeping them. Oh, no, actually, they're going to be knocking out Chris and Razi. Estonia are knocked out almost out of the game here. Damien's still alive there for France. But UK seems to have an idea to push into him, and down he goes. Just one more left. Monkey is in the battle for France as it stands. And I'm not too sure if he's going to be alive for too long. UK stepping up at the end of the game here, calling themselves heroes as the game is so close to ending. And look at Yuki's position, man. He must be sweating bullets. That's all he can do. UK up on top. They got a T-Bone, got a nice double spray down. And now what they'll do is they'll leave Survivor up on top. They'll run T-Bone on a flank around the outside. And they'll verify, is anyone out here before we have to deal with somebody potentially coming from below? They know it's all locked up down there. This is a very easy 4v1. All Yuki can do is sort of wait to see what happens. Yep, indeed. The UK just hunting for frags left and right. And it looks like the Jorge Hasli player won't have an easy time here. Yuki's going to be peaked in fake. He's going to be finding him in just any second now. There he goes. And that will be the GG and the chicken dinner.